Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Captions Live. My name is Eli, this is Mara. Uh, good to have you back. And if you have any questions, of course, just ask them in the YouTube Q&A at the bottom right of the video. Um, today we're going to be covering a couple new features, a couple old features, and uh, one feature that's coming very soon. So uh, yeah, let's, let's jump in. Let's do it. Awesome. All right, first things first, Mara is gonna open up the app and there's gonna be something you notice uh, that you <laughs> probably don't have so this is yet because we haven't here. properly I launched it. So you're seeing Shots and Shots is really cool because uh, currently on the iPhone app, you can import multiple clips, but we're probably moving to a new um, way of displaying you all of your different clips and the fact that we can auto detect when there's a change in shot. So even if you've imported one clip that has multiple shots, which we'll show you with this video, we automatically detect when there's a average change of brightness on the video and we'll automatically detect shot one, shot two, shot three, etc. So if we hit play and let it run through, you'll see it automatically go from shot to shot. All right, let's see. And this week's video is Gwyneth Paltrow's uh, beautiful apartment. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's. <laughs> let's play. This is the dining room here. I enlisted my friend Bridget to help me furnish the house. She's been one of my best friends for 20 years, and I was trying to do it by myself, and uh, it was I couldn't do it. This wallpaper. Okay. Awesome. Very cool. So if you notice, we didn't get it exactly right, and it says easy. I think there was one right here. There's actually no change. Maybe. The light hitting her dress yeah, really changed quite a bit. Maybe turning her, her head and the light catches her hair, maybe. Exactly. So if you do need to, you can just simply tap on that and click merge. And now you've got one less shot. So again, shot three to shot four, automatically detected. Shot four to shot five. This is really, really helpful because you can imagine we can, in the future, automatically add transition, automatically add sounds. Um, there's a lot of really still cool stuff you can do here. And so this is coming out on iPhone in the next few weeks, and we're also launching this on the desktop app. So just wanted to give you a quick preview of what's to come. Yeah, it's just nice. I think it makes it that one, those few taps faster, like mm -hmm. you're saying, to add in your transitions, to delete a section if you don't want it. It's just a nice uh, addition. So look forward to that. It should be coming out soon. Now, if you have any questions about it, just ask them in the chat. All right, perfect. So I think on our last live stream, I had kind of hinted into um, viral sounds. Um, and sound effects in general kind of getting a little bit of an update. So since we last streamed, we did add in a new category. Um, and I think what's kind of funny about sounds, I think they can be a little bit hidden. A lot of our users mm -hmm. actually don't end up using it or don't know that they're there. And we have a massive library of sounds. So we're hoping that this will help you search through them a little bit better, find what you're looking for, or also kind of find the trending sounds that you're hearing other creators use on TikTok, Instagram, we're trying to have those easy to find here. So already you can see we have this new uh, new tab right here called Viral. And this is including, like I said, sounds that we're just hearing show up a lot on across uh, short form video content. I think even in our stream, someone asked for the paper crumbling one. Um, so I'll play that one first, here you go. Nice. We also have the riser. We have some typing, gear, camera flash, more risers, <laughs> and uh, another kind of gear riser. Um, and like I said, there's a massive library. You can kind of search through all of them together, but we also have them categorized as pops, impacts, which are kind of like the build up sounds, whooshes, swishes. Uh, there's like lowering sounds and rising sounds. Pings, which I actually think is a pretty fun one. There's tons of like bells and chime sounds, which I think I, I hear a lot on short form and social videos. So that's a great one. Clicks, um, if you're looking for like more keyboards, clocks, uh, someone clicking their mouse. And legacy, never really sure what that's name, that name has meant, but there's tons of sounds in here um, that are really, really fun to, to dig through and look at. So make sure to check that out. But I think this viral tab is nice. It'll kind of be constantly updated with the sounds that are most viral on, on streaming or on uh, social media sites. And if you have any sounds that you'd like to see, I think I saw a couple requests for sounds in Discord this week. Let us know. Um, we can always add in more sounds if you're feeling like you want something that you're hearing somewhere else that we don't have in the app. 
All right, next, also lightly touched on this last week, but we didn't really go into depth. I think one of our really, really <laughs> exciting new features that just went out is that we now have like a picture in picture, which means you can essentially add B-roll to your video, which has been long requested, long awaited. We're really excited about it. So to do that along the bottom toolbar, AI images was now switched to be called AI media. So from here, you can click where you want to add it to your video and tap add. And this is where you'll see everything from your camera roll and you can search through photos, you can search through videos, um, which will make it easier for you to add in a B-roll if you want to. And this is still where you'll find GIFs and still where you'll find stock. The one thing to note about these two, the, the GIF and the AI stock images, are that they're based on the word that you're potentially attaching something to. So let's say she's going to just talking about putting up this really expensive wallpaper in her apartment <laughs> and she was going to do it by herself but her friend thought she was nuts so this is where i wanted to add my my uh image if i click here and i try to look for a stock it's going to automatically search for that word i'm clicked on but you can always exit out of it and type in something else that you want um you can do the same here you can just exit out and type in anything that you're looking for. For this one though, I kind of thought it would be funny. I have some, some B-roll here of someone that's shocked, so I thought it would be kind of funny to add that, um, add that in while she's talking. So that's how easy it is. You can also do freeform if you just want to be able to move it around anywhere on the screen. You can do the top half, you can do the bottom half, and you can make it full screen. Kind of works the same exact way that AI yeah, images work. Um, let's do bottom half and apply that. So now, as she's trying talking, to do it by myself, it'll show and, up here. Uh, but let's say I want it to be a little bit shorter than it's showing. You can scroll to the end um, or the beginning, and you can always let's go out. you can always adjust the timing of it um, to make it longer or to make it shorter, which is fun. And you can add in multiple ones too. Like here, she's talking about Los Angeles. And I found a funny little video of Hollywood. So we can add that in here. And also this one I could have as freeform and the other one I could have is just the bottom half. Um, and yeah, it's, that's kind of nice that you can. There you go, I'll make that one a little shorter so they don't overlap. Um, and yeah, let's watch, let's watch that. So this is the dining room here. I enlisted my friend Bridget to help me. The captions got shifted. Furnish the house. She's been one of my best friends for 20 years, and I was trying to do it by myself, and uh, it was I couldn't do it. This wallpaper is so amazing. It's hand painted by these artists. Great. Okay. So that's a little bit into picture in picture. I think what's really fun here too is the potential for reaction videos um, and duets, which I know are really popular in TikTok. Um, one thing to note is that there's only gonna be sound playing on your main video. So if you're adding in something that you kind of wanna react to or duet to, it's not gonna play both sounds simultaneously. Um, if that's something you think that you might want though, let us know. Um, like if that's how you're trying to use your B-roll, we're just kind of curious to hear more. Um, also, probably will be requested soon. Not something else that is often asked for is AI B-roll or like AI stock video. Um, it's it's on the list, we're working on it. So that'll be a fun one. Um, can't wait for that to come out. All right, next up, we're gonna talk a little bit more about voice clone. Um, I showed it in a demo of it a couple weeks ago and we just announced it in our Discord this week, but I thought it would be fun to give you um, a little bit more of like a how-to. A lot of users were saying they couldn't find it or weren't totally sure how to use it. So I wanted to walk you through that. Um, so if you want to add in a voice clone, first and foremost, make sure that you're on the most updated version of the app. Um, it's only on newer versions. So a lot of users are saying that they can't see it, but once they update, it's there. So I would start by making sure you've updated. And then you're just gonna scroll on the toolbar all the way to the AI audio section. And you'll tap on voiceover add just as you would any other voiceover and you'll see all of the other voices down here at the bottom um, and up top is your voice clone so i've already recorded mine but i took a screen recording of what it would look like if i hadn't so we can walk you through that a little bit um let's see here we go so if you haven't created one yet it's going to look like this actually let me 
pause the video here. Um, it's gonna look like this, and you'll see this option to generate your AI voice clone, and you're just gonna tap right there on that top button, and once you do, uh, it'll pull up this screen. So now you're essentially gonna need to record yourself talking for 60 seconds, and it's giving you instructions here. Make sure it's quiet and there isn't too much background noise. Um, you are gonna have to record a minute of yourself speaking, so just be aware of that. And I think something really important too is to try and speak clearly, but also with a little bit of intonation because the voice clone is gonna kind of copy how you're speaking. So as you're talking, you wanna make sure you're pausing, speaking somewhat slowly, using different tones of voice so it really sounds like you and it will replicate that and not sound too robotic. And lastly, it will ask you to confirm what language you're speaking in. And we have, I think, a list of, I wanna say about 30 languages you can scroll through. You can also um, go up to the top search bar and you can type in the language that you're looking for so you don't have to scroll. But in this case, I was speaking English, so I chose English and I tapped get started. Um, you'll need to make sure that you give your, the app access to your microphone. And then there's already this script in there. It's a little funky, I think it's like a chat GPT script. It's a little weird. So you're gonna tap that purple record and you're just gonna read yourself speaking. Like I said, try to speak clearly and slowly and you will need to speak for a full 60 seconds. So if you read the script too fast, um, you can go back and read a couple more lines. It doesn't really matter if it makes sense, it just needs to be your voice speaking for 60 seconds. And that's it. After you've recorded it, it will save. It actually works pretty quickly. It's like a few seconds. Mm -hmm. And your voice clone will be up here, just like we see in the app, ready to use. And then you can tap it, and you can hit apply, and you can type in a script to kind of test out. So let's test something out here, actually. Let me, uh, let's add in something at the beginning without, oops, without uh, speaking so that we can. Um, here, you made this a while back, that's perfect. So that we will have a clip, does that work? Yeah. It's not working. Here, I think, we can, I think we can add a clip, let's go... I guess we can add it somewhere Yeah, let's yeah. go right here. Uh, which one are we adding here? Let's add this one. Cool. Oh, it looks like, you know what, I think because we're on a beta version with shots. Oh, it's, we are on a test light version, it yeah. might not be working. Um, but either way, uh, we also heard the request that you want to be able to mute audio, so we've definitely heard that feedback as well. Um, <laughs> but it would be nice. useful for adding in voiceovers like this. Totally, let's see if we have a different video that could work. So Ooh, this is the dining not, not for today's demo. This is the dining room here. I enlisted my friend yeah, Bridget absolutely. to help play it with the video. All right, let's type in a random script here for me to read. Um, let's say, hello and welcome to this week's installment of Architectural Digest. We can't wait to show you this. Oh, let's try that. Hello, and welcome to this week's installment of Architectural Digest. We can't wait to show you Mrs. Paltrow's home. Okay. Hello, and okay. welcome to this week's pretty installment nice. of... Um, yeah, so it's pretty fun. You can also try out, I found sometimes the shorter I write, the faster it will have me speak. So sometimes by adding a little bit more, it'll sound more like me, mm -hmm. the more time it has to talk, so. And also, I, it's worth noting, you can add more than one AI voiceover in a single video. So yes. if you want to, if you have like a long script and you want to actually time it specifically to content in the video, you just click add, add your script, apply it, scroll to whenever that ends, the next point, add more voiceovers. So you can add multiple voiceovers um, with it. You can actually add multiple voiceovers with multiple voices within the same video as yeah. well. So if you wanted two different voices of like person A, person B, you can use one of the stock ones and you can also um, use your own clone voice as well. Uh, one thing I will say that I think a few other users have commented on and noticed um, that we are gonna try to work on fixing, we only really support an American accent. So if you record yourself, it's going to give you I shouldn't even say American, kind of the standard American <laughs> central accent. Um, so great news if you wanted to hear yourself speak with an American accent, but if you're speaking in British or Australian English, 
Canadian English, whatever it might be, it's going to kind of give you an American accent with your voice clone. So, so we've heard feedback. We're going to try and make some improvements on that. Just something to note for right now. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool. All right, should we open it up to some questions? Yeah. I think I've been answering people pretty quickly. Um, once again, welcome James Hicks to the uh, to the program. I think this might He's be your attended every single live stream. I think so. so shout out for uh, for showing up every time. Uh, hey everybody. Uh, so a couple questions. I think um, most of the questions. There was one about templates. Someone was saying, you know, can we add more templates? So I think we have up to 75 templates. If you click on each of the tabs, you'll be able to see them. But it's also worth noting that you can customize any template you want to create your own custom template. Uh, you can rename custom templates, you can delete custom templates. This works on both iOS and desktop. So uh, if there's a particular style you don't see, feel free to you know, send us a link to Instagram or TikTok with the particular style. We can definitely think about adding it. But um, we hope you can pretty much do anything. If you want to tap on styles and just kind of go through all the different yeah. options here, I mean, or some of them, there's really endless. There's tons. And also you can even add in um, like your own hex code. Yep. So if you have company colors or a really specific color. Yeah, brand. Trying to, uh -oh. Sorry, we lost you for a second. Um, that you're trying to emulate. Um, you can always type in the hex code and... Uh, yeah. yeah. If you have a brand kit, um, we can also show you how to add icons. What we just showed with the media, um, you can add in a, a video picture in picture or an image and you can actually just import your icon and uh, extend that for the entire length of the video to add like a little, your own watermark for instance. But as far as styles go, there's truly um, <laughs> endless possibilities. We've got your uh, colors, emojis, emphasis, which you can turn on and off uh, globally, uh, how you split your words, your fonts, you can actually scroll all the way to the right and type custom font, you can import anything there. We've got uh, some other options for transitions as well. So I hope you can really uh, pretty much do anything you like. Uh, there's only a few things I've heard of that we can't handle, but it's uh, it's pretty customizable. And reminder, you can save that template. So if you yes. create something you really like, you can save it as one of your custom templates. You can name it whatever you want, and you can find it again to keep reusing in the future. Exactly. Um, but like Elon was saying, if there's like a specific style that you're seeing somewhere else or on someone else's video that you really, really want and you want us to add into the app, please send it to us. You can reach out to us on Discord, mm -hmm. send it in the chat here. Um, and we can see if that's something we can add in. Yeah. There's another question about copyright and commercial use. So uh, just as a reminder, uh, you can use anything you create in captions for commercial use. You can create an ad out of it, a UGC ad, whatever it is. Um, and as far as music goes, so we didn't hit on it today, but we definitely have in the past. If you tap on music, you can generate uh, any style of music. This will actually generate the music. It's happening right now. The track we're about to get hasn't existed until just this moment. I think it's about to play, yep. So if you were to import this into uh, Facebook world or TikTok or YouTube, uh, we've heard like maybe five in the history of this, uh, in the history of this feature that people had a copyright strike or got taken down. So it should be really rare. Usually those are false positives because obviously these companies need to figure out how to uh, get a handle on copyright. But uh, it's incredibly rare, and you can use this music however you like, including uh, for commercial purposes. Yeah. Um, cool. Someone gave us a little note about translating to Mandarin. It sounds like it's using my voice. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so that is a good point. If you're just doing the dubbing, and you're dubbing your original video into a new language, we automatically apply this kind of voice clone so it will sound like you in that other language. Mm -hmm. It isn't just a robotic voice or a standard voice. We're always going to try and dub your voice and match it. So for that reason, we do require 15 seconds of video, mm -hmm. assuming that you're talking enough in there. But the longer your video, uh, the more accurate your dubbing will be, which is why we ask for the one minute uh, record time for voiceover. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think. I think we hit on everything. Um, does TikTok penalize you for not editing with TikTok? I don't think so. I can't answer that question. Uh, I do not know. They're a little bit of a black box, but uh, 
majority of our customers would say over 50% of our content is getting uploaded into TikTok. And on that note, I mean, right now this is five minute limit, mostly vertical videos, mostly going to social media. Just to give a quick shout out to our desktop app. If you go to desktop.captions.ai, you can download our desktop app. We also have a Mac app. Um, and if you're a Windows uh, or PC customer, the web app is works beautifully. And right now the limit is 10 minutes on desktop, but we are extending that to be on to be on one hour, probably within the next few months. So that's more horizontal videos, longer form, or you need to create a 15 second clip. You've got a beautiful large screen, you've got a keyboard, you've got a mouse, and there's lots of other automations and features you can do uh, using the desktop app. So there's lots of really cool stuff coming. Uh, just a quick shout out. We have an AI shorts feature yeah. on iPhone. And so if you haven't used that yet, definitely give it a try. This is still in our like V1, but we're in the process of relaunching AI shorts uh, on desktop, which is gonna be really, really amazing. I'm not gonna give too much away because I really want everyone to just experience it for the first time, but we're going to make a lot of improvements to how this works. And uh, it's gonna be a huge time saver for long form to short form content. So stay tuned on that. Cool. I think that's probably it. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can send us a message on Discord. You can send us a message in app. It'll reach our customer support team. And of course, we have a brand new help center, help.captions.ai. Tons of great content over there. It's awesome. Updating. <laughs> it's tab for desktop, iOS, and uh, I guess lastly, Android is coming soon. Uh, we should be launching, we hope, in the next two to three months, I'll say, uh, with the beta probably coming a little bit before that. So if you're in Discord, you'll get updated first. So. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Um, and we'll see you during our uh, next stream. All right.